I have remained um, consistent in what I represent, in what I stand for. I'm a former trade unionist. I'm still passionate about labor issues. I'm still passionate about pensioners. I'm passionate about the welfare of war veterans, um, the vulnerable in society. And I strongly believe that there is no way we can resuscitate our economy or that we can attain sustainable livelihoods as long as people are getting paltry salaries, as long as our pensioners, the senior citizens, are getting paltry pension payouts, yet they contributed their hard-earned monies when they still had value. So these are over and above some of the issues that I had heart, that I'm passionate about, that drive me to want to go to parliament. I had a lot of people asking me this question. Mm -hmm. You're a president of a political party. <laughs> Why are you running to you, be an MP? Actually yes. My question. <laughs> yes. And I'm going to explain this. Yeah. I am running to be MP because I still believe that I have something to offer the, to the electorate of our central constituency. Because <laughs> when we look at our central constituency, it happens in RZ, where there are employers who are still underpaid, who do not get their salaries on times, where they are still victims of the Zua judgment, who are not bold enough like myself to go to court and get what they are owed. They are still being owed to date. That is about six years later after they were fired. And it's not only the workers from NRZ, we also have workers from GMB, we also have workers from a lot of um, other private sector companies and parastatals right here in the heart of Harare who are still suffering, haven't gotten what they were supposed to get. One voice that is lacking in the Parliament of Zimbabwe is a trade unionist voice, is the voice of labor, the voice that stands up and be the voice of reason to the social injustices that most Zimbabweans are facing. Because as I am elected into office, I'm just not going to be the MP for another central constituency. I'm going to be the MP for labor. And everyone who's facing labor injustices should actually tell their relatives and cousins in another central constituency, kutitane dongire duku another central constituency. Because as long as the parents, as long as the senior citizens who have children who are not working are getting paltry pension payouts, what is happening to the children that they gave birth to? They now are waiting to be taken care of. That is so wrong. So I am very passionate about labor issues, and that is mainly the main reason why I want to go into parliament, to be that voice that speaks out about labor justice, that speaks about the, the Labor Act being added to, and the amendment of the Labor Act to be pro-workers than to be the pro-employer. One of the biggest challenges we have had with the parliamentarians we have had over the years is they are too elitist and they are employers. They do not understand the language of remunerating a worker properly. Mm -hmm. They view workers as their subjects, that they can give them whatever they will give them. We have seen this, this has been happening in the civil service, we have seen it in the private sector, we have seen it in parastatals, and that has to change. But it needs a bold voice which is courageous, which will stand for the facts, which understands the law, the laws of labor, which understands stands trade unionism and I am that voice. Mm. Secondly, let yeah. me just finish off. The other thing that has pushed me to run for a central constituency is the high rate of drug and substance abuse in a central constituency. In a central constituency, especially in the avenues area, it harbors the drug lords the ones who run around with the drugs, the high levels of prostitution. We've got a lot of young people in Acadia, in Brayside, who have got no future anymore. The death rate of drug and substance abuse is now very high. We now have a Toriro pandemic, which everyone is ignoring. When you hear people talking about drug and substance abuse, it's cosmetic, or there's a donor who wants to pour in money into that particular subject. But I want to get in, I already have a plan of setting up of drug rehabilitation centers in all the 10 provinces of Zimbabwe, which are state funded which will ensure rehabilitation of all the young people and all the other people who are now who are now hooked onto drugs and the no, drug rehabilitation sorry, center sorry, can i just finish off will just not be a drug rehabilitation center wait because it will have to train these people after rehabilitation yeah. and have a fund maybe from empower bank or, or the women's bank to ensure that they fund these people after rehabilitation to go and start their own businesses mm -hmm. it is important because you can't rehabilitate and take those people back into a jobless society they'll go back to the drugs 